Yeah. As in, uh, we look at the New Testament, we look at uh, wicked, wicked people. I'm not ashamed to break the laws. So, a, lot of, a lot of these words, wickedness and righteousness and justify, it always goes to, goes to the law. I mean, you can all you can look it up. You'll, you'll see it. Like, it's always mentioned in the law. Okay, the law. You go deep into the word, you'll see it. The law is always staring you in the face. And I still want Romans 7, uh, 12, and 14. Okay. It's uh, Judges 5 and 11. They that are... Prophecy. Prophecy. Con. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places... Babylon being destroyed. The Bible refers to the destruction of Babylon is going to be by uh, arrows with fire on them. I'll say that for now. Go they're ahead. going to be shot from the ends of the world. Come, yeah, they're going to destroy Babylon. Uh, but they're uh, not actually arrows. Right. Good. This is 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers prophecy. in the places of drawing water. Drawing water slavery. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Yeah, they, they, it's referring to the Israelites in slavery in Babylon, practicing to keep the law because we uh, went off for keeping the law, we went to slavery. Where's that? Say again? Judges, oh, Judges 5, five and 11. 11. This, this is a, a female saying this? Is a woman saying this? Uh, the then Bora. saying Deborah, yeah. Deborah? And Barak. Yeah. This is a woman saying this. It says Deborah and Barak. Deborah and Barak. So they sing a song together. Uh, Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the arches or archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts to the inhabitants of his villages. Yeah, so we gotta just keep performing the law as we do it, you know, mess up, you know, do it again, mess up, do it again, until we until we're perfect. Well, until uh, the Most well, High yeah, sets up that new covenant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We put yeah. the law in our, in our head. In our head. You're, you're familiar parts. with that, right? But the law going into your head. So, so uh, like the brother been bringing out the whole night, man, we strive for the masteries. You know, that's why we keep the commandments that we can that's within our ability. Because you got to understand, we're still enslaved. There's a lot of things that we can't do because we're in oppression. Let's face it. Let's face it, we're, we're still in that op oppression state. More so mentally, but also physically. So for that reason alone, there's things that we just cannot keep. And, and the, the Lord, Lord understands our position. And the Lord said, wait on, wait on Him to right. rise up to the prayer. Exactly. Now pray. <laughs> yeah, we can't we build up a military to kill white people. You know? Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Listen, I'm gonna come back next Saturday. If you're here, I'll, I'll see you gentlemen next Saturday. Uh, some of the scriptures that were maybe overlooked, maybe we'll raise them up if you have happen to be in that area in the scriptures during your, uh, during, your, your, your during your preaching here. Um, passages like Luke 16, uh, I believe there is a real hell, hell in the sense of fire and torment. That, that's my okay. position. Well, we can't okay. stop you from believing that. Okay. Okay. But, uh, All right. well, hopefully, see you next week then. All right, All right brother. All right. Shalom, shalom. Right. How you guys doing? Good, yeah. Right. Zephaniah 3 verse 8. Therefore wait ye upon the Lord. Wait ye upon me, save the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations. Yeah, so that's all in the works, man. That's why the, the nations in the Middle East are all being riled up. The nations. Okay. That's why you got uh 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 all that controversy between them so-called Jews, which are really Edomites, and them Palestinians, okay, them Ishmaelites, all right? I don't know y'all, what's up, peace? So the Most High is mustering up the battle for what, World War III, all right? So that's who we gotta wait on, you know? And that's that's part of what? Endurance. See, you can't, like, like that dude that was here earlier, he's gotta understand, <laughs> He ain't safe from anything until he goes through that enduring process. Remember, the Lord said that we're gonna have to go through trials and tribulations, and then it's gonna be known who's who who is elected. So we might have to suffer being in a concentration camp. We might have to suffer two weeks or a week without food. We're gonna have to do some suffering, man. But the Lord said that then it shall be known who my elected. You know, so we gotta we gotta go through endurance. And, you know, not only are we trying to build up the elect, we gotta keep ourselves in a stable mind. But you only do that through the truth. You know? That sense of stability is only gonna come through what we're doing right now. Knowing the name. Okay, that's another thing. 
but we gotta wait on the Lord. That's why, you know, we ain't putting our enemies to death right now, man. That's why we do the things that is within our ability, because according to the law, you know, if we see a homosexual or lesbian, that's supposed to be it for them, but you know, we can't, like the brother was going into earlier, you can't just run up on them like that, man, because then you go to jail for the rest of your life, get the death penalty, then how are you supposed to do the work of the Lord? The work of the Lord comes first. So that's why the Lord said what? Be harmless as doves, but wise as serpents. So you gotta be in the right mentality. For my determination is his will, his agenda. The yeah. Lord has an agenda. agenda. Right, exactly. Hey, hey, this has this has nothing to do with us, man. This is all part of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's will, man. Alright? Go ahead. For my determination is to gather the nation, so I guess this is one. John 3 16 comes, you know, the, the world needs to be delivered. Let's read. <laughs> that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. Yeah, and that indignation is going to be them thermonuclear missiles. That hell. That yeah, hell that's, 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 that's what that hellfire is, man. Coming off the nuclear blasts. Go ahead. To pour out. To pour upon them my indignation. Yeah, righteous anger. Go ahead. Even all my fierce anger. All his fierce anger. Because the Lord right now, he's basically holding this peace. He is judging America, you know, different, like using the elements, you know. So this place is receiving judgment, but he's going to completely destroy this place and annihilate it off the face of the map. Do that final destruction, which is gonna be them thermonuclear missiles. Can I ask you a question? I heard on the news that. All right, hold on. Let him finish this scripture. You can uh, say what you got to say. To pour upon them my ind indignation, uh -huh. even all my fierce anger, mm -hmm. for all the earth shall be devoured. Devoured. Yeah, all the earth shall be devoured. What? What's? What's gonna be devoured? Esau. All wickedness. America. America. And the, the rulership of uh, so called white men. That's what's going to be devoured. Go ahead. With the fire of my jealousy. Because somebody will say, oh, so the whole earth then is going to be destroyed then. No. The whole earth ain't going to be destroyed, but certain parts of it will be, such as America. Okay? It's, it's the spirit of this book, you know. Everybody, everybody's not going to get it. I'm going to see y'all one day. Mm -hmm. so I was saying that the uh, Jews, something going on over there in um, Israel God, with, yeah. with the Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So called Jews. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. My, my, my. All right, yeah. We see, we see the hell. We're looking now. Hopefully, we're looking now. See the fuck up. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 4. One generation passeth away, mm -hmm. and another gen generation cometh. But the earth abideth forever. Yeah, so the earth is going to abide forever because, first of all, our kingdom is going to be established on the earth, man. Yeah, wait a minute. This is a generation. How does a generation come? Through, through sex. Yep. Through, through man seed. Yep. Exactly. So, you know, the whole earth ain't going to pass away, but Esau's rulership, America, okay, that's going to be a complete desolation. So that's the, that's the point that we wanted to get out of that. The only time a, a, a generation is going to actually be cut off is after Esau um, is rounded up and, and, and serves that thousand years of slavery. But his spirit still ain't going to be done away with, all right? Because he's still going to come back, reincarnation in the other nations. <laughs> so, you know, with that, we just want to say uh, uh, all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Double honors to the elders of GMS. Honors to all the true Akim. And uh, Shalom. Shalom.